A new Cold War on China is against the interests of humanity. This is the name of a very significant online meeting of Chinese and Western speakers which will take place on 25 and 26 July. I will explain in this video why I believe as many people as possible in China should take part in it. The significance of the meeting is shown when you understand that the son of the US President, Donald Trump Jr., has attacked on Twitter one of the organisers of the meeting, Carlos Martinez. The US administration today is trying to prevent the national rejuvenation of China by numerous means. Trade wars, attacks on Huawei, artificially creating crises in the South China Sea when countries in the region do not want it. It is obvious these US actions, US actions are against the interests of China, but they are also against the interests of humanity. Today, what the people of the world require above all is a period of peaceful development to recover from the terrible blow delivered by COVID-19. This is what China proposes. The US administration is acting directly contrary to this by instead trying to create crises in different parts of the world and trying to launch a new cold war against China. Precisely because the US administration is acting against the interests of humanity, however, there are many outside China who are opposed to this new US cold war against China. The US people today are suffering terribly from the actions of the same US administration which is trying to launch this new Cold War. Almost 140,000 Americans have died from coronavirus. More than 20 million have lost their jobs. Don't confuse the US government acting against China with the American people who have no interests which are against the Chinese people. Also the US to try to carry out its Cold War against China is forcing countries into actions which are against their national interests, such as Britain's ban on Huawei. To attempt to conceal these facts, the mainstream media in the West is more and more excluding anyone writing objectively about China, showing that the claim the West believes in, quote, freedom of speech is a joke. But because these US actions are against the interests not only of China but of humanity, an increasing number of figures in the West are speaking out against them and some have significant presence on Western social media or have created their own media platforms. These are the people who are holding the meeting on 25, 26 July. They are signatories of the following statement which is being published in English, Chinese, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese, French, Russian, Greek, Filipino, Farsi, Turkish and Arabic. The language is spoken by the majority of the world's people. I will read the statement that follows. A new Cold War in China is against the interests of humanity. We note the increasingly aggressive statements and actions being taken by the US government in regard to China. These constitute a threat to world peace and are an obstacle to humanity successfully dealing with extremely serious common issues when confronted, such as climate change, control of pandemics, racist discrimination and economic development. We therefore believe that any new Cold War would run entirely counter to the interests of humanity. Instead, we stand in favour of maximum global cooperation in order to tackle the enormous challenges we face as a species. We therefore call upon the US to step back from this threat of the Cold War and also from other dangerous threats to world peace it is engaged in, including withdrawal from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Agreement, withdrawal from the Paris Climate Change Accords and its increasing disengagement from UN bodies. The US should also stop pressuring other countries to adopt such dangerous positions. We support China and the US based on their relations on mutual dialogue and centering on the common issues which unite humanity. I hope you will participate in this meeting. The details can be found from Guangzhou, which is one of the Chinese participants in the meeting.